We'll get a little deeper into the T.J. Watt, uh, Miles Garrett thing. T.J. Watt last year upset when Miles Garrett was named Defensive Player of the Year, felt that he deserved it being T.J. Watt. Uh, Garrett disagreed, um, and, and last night he played like he was trying to prove something. Miles, did you get the apology from T.J. that you were hoping for? I didn't see him afterwards, but I no take nothing away from uh, – no, no disrespect for my comments. You know, he's an uh, absolute uh, dog, hell of a player. And, uh, you know, I'm staying in my lane. But, you know, I, you know I, I'm trying to be the, the, the guy. And you know, I think I'm, I'm showing that you know, day in and day out. I mean, I wouldn't really look at, uh, like, what he did. You know, I was really just focused on you know, going out there and playing the best, very best ball I could. But, yeah, you know, I wanted to you know, make it known that, uh, you know, I'm the guy. I'm number one, you know, edge defender. And uh, that was a statement I, I was intending to make, and I think I made. Yeah, that was uh, that was an impressive performance against. I mean, the offensive line of the Steelers is improving. It's still not great, but it isn't a terrible offensive line either. And and he wrecked their game plan. Yeah, and you know, we a lot has been made about Russell Wilson doing the the checkdowns and the moon balls. And you know, one thing that happens if he wants to be successful going vertically is he's got to have enough time to throw. And, and he hit some shots down the field, uh, absolutely. But you know, when Miles Miles hit him a few more times, and I know he got hit by a couple of other players too, where it's like you could tell there was a little bit of uh, hesitancy as that game went on for Russell Wilson and even Justin Fields to want to stand into the pocket knowing what Miles Garrett was doing. I thought it was very, I, I, I found it very interesting the way Miles made that statement. Like I'm him, I'm the number one, I'm that guy, because I don't know that he's directly said it that, you know, just that explicitly where like just really saying, Hey, straight up, I'm the number one guy. But like when you get three sacks in any kind of game, let alone a half or whatever, and he's done that twice now this year. Uh, you know, seven now, str seven straight years with double digit sacks. It, he is absolutely a generational player. And you just kind of hope that the Browns, especially in 2025, maybe can uh, make a deep run with him because he is an absolute game wrecker.